basically all you do is dip it into your joint and match your wheels. Match your wheel against your joint. Power cord. Load contact cord. You know, automatically come on. It's already set for inches per minute in a continuous weld. Uh, speed adjustment knob. Left is down, right is up. This is your travel direction indicator. Your weld contact is selector. On is left, right is off. Your stop button, your start button. Insert your torch, just unscrew it. Slide the torch in. Tighten up with the screw. This is your angle adjustment and your X adjustment. Just gonna adjust it to meet the joint. Once you've got your torch in place when you're ready to weld, you just flip your weld contact to the on, push the start button, it'll begin the weld. Or if you'd like to do a skip weld, you press your speed knob, the red light will come on. Set it to where you want it. This is your weld on distance in inches. Press the button again, this is your skip distance. Press the button a third time, C will light. This is your total weld distance. Leave A and B, A or B lit to skip, or weld to skip four. Leave C lit to run out 12 inches and the whole machine will stop. Start a continuous weld. To start, all you do is hit the black start button. Stop your weld, you hit the orange button, it'll go in a crater fill, and the machine will automatically shut down. On startup, it does a puddle build up of one second before it starts welding. Okay, I'm still recording. All right. On startup, to set your puddle build up, crater fill, and crater pause time, you want to hold the black start button when you plug in the power. This will bring up your menu. You will blink at your puddle build up. We have it set to one second. Hit the start button. This is your crater fill time. We have it set to one second. And this is your pause at the end of welding before your crater fill begins, which have half second. To return to your normal welding menu, just hit the stop button. And your travel speed will be displayed and you're ready to weld.